my name is Rachel and um, I'm in the GRW class, Cultivating a Maker Mindset. And today we went to Tech Shop in DC Arlington and it's basically like this studio that has like all these different like different areas with different kind of like technologies. So like there's this one place that has like the 3D printers and like the laser cutters and then there's the other side that has like a textile section and then like a metal cutting kind of area and like a wood shop kind of place. They have a lot of aspects of creativity, they have a lot of aspects of technology of course, but they also have a lot of um, different aspects of problem solving as well. When we first entered, we saw like this bike I don't know if it was a bike and a car also. That can go up to 50 miles per hour and it's very environmentally friendly. It was, that was quite cool and someone who like was retired made, started to make like this airplane. And to this man who was designing night lights and using different types of wood and um, patterns to create these beautiful shapes. I got to use the plasma cutter which uses um, very high pressured oxygen and electricity and that basically um, creates plasma to you um, to cut metals kind of like butter when you when somebody asks me um, what's my favorite equipment in the shop I said which one because I want to use all of them depending on what project that I want to work on at the time or in the future I get to plan out which um, equipment I want like for example I can make a lot of stuff with Arduinos I can make a lot of stuff on my own time with wood um, so I'm very excited for that. Also coming here and experiencing the Baker Mindset Idea Works area, it's really fascinating to actually have a teacher say, okay, we're gonna do this today with your hands. You have to use your hands. And For some things it's tougher for me to learn. With hands on, I can actually see what I'm doing. Like I've never used a 3D printer. I've always wanted to try and use one. I've never heard about a laser cutter until this class. So like, it's interesting to use that stuff. And so like, um, the hands-on aspect is something that like really intrigues me if I say instead of just like sitting in a class and listening to teachers and just writing and stuff, having that extra set component is quite good for me. For example, I, when I work with you in IdeaWorks and we're working on Star Tracker, I've never imagined photography as having anything to do with robotics, and robotics is what I'm very passionate about. It sounds amazing, but it's very difficult in terms of finding out the, ma the precise mathematics to actually make this ca camera mount counteract the Earth's rotation. But I'm having a lot of fun figuring out what I'm doing wrong what what I'm doing right, what I need to change in order to get it right, and also discussing with you about all these new things that I've never even imagined before. And I'm very excited to see people from different backgrounds come into this one specific spot and say, hey, here's a goal, let's all work together and make this. Coming as a freshman, I had no idea that we had the, the opportunity to have this. We have a 3D printer at Washington College, and that's pretty cool. And I think the makerspace is a is an awesome, awesome way to get across, uh, get um, innovation, get creative, and get creativity to the to the max. I think that's amazing. Sure, it is super cool.